Good morning, everyone. My name is Kotel Fatima Sili, and I would like to take this time to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be able to share my testimony today with you all. I was born in Australia and raised in a Christian family. I am the fourth child of five brothers, and my parents are Lingwa and Ali Fatima Sili. Both my parents are God-fearing, who loves the Lord very much and understands the importance of sharing the gospel. I was brought up being taught and raised with biblical values, beliefs, and morals. Through our family devotions and prayer, my parents always tried sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. To hear the good news, they would first present us with the bad news, which is, we were born as sinners separated from God. It's only through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ's death and resurrection that we will be saved from the judgment of God and eternal hell. I attended church with my family regularly every Friday and Sunday. I knew right from wrong and I had a fear of hell and God's judgment. But even hearing this at the time, I still did not have a desire or interest to learn about God's word. During my high school years, I battled many challenges, trials and temptations that went against my values, morals and beliefs. I also dwelled in the things of this world that was more attractive in fulfilling my fleshly desires. Sexual immorality and pornography became an habitual sin that was desirable and pleasurable from my heart. Secular music was very influential, having a a negative impact on my attitude towards life. My sinful actions weighed heavily upon my heart, and things of this world became more empty and pointless. My attitude at home was aggressive and disobedient, causing a lot of arguments with my brothers and my parents. My life I lived was only worldly happiness, and I couldn't forgive myself for all my sinful acts. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Having knowledge of sin and the hope of the good news, I believed that I was a Christian. I tried living a life of good works, thinking I could make it into heaven. I also lived off feelings that would waver up and down. Some days when I'm happy, I praise God and read his word. But when in hardship, I fled from him and fell into temptation. I would repent and ask for forgiveness, not realizing it was a worldly repentance committing the same sin over again. James chapter 1 verse 14 to 15 says, But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it's full grown, brings forth death. By God's grace, I was starting to realize that I was not a true Christian, but a lost, broken, and depraved sinner. I knew I was someone who grew up in church, but was lukewarm and was living a double life. I was a deceiver, Christian on Sunday, but living wickedly throughout the week with no change in my heart. And it was destroying me spiritually. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26 to 27 says, For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sin, but in a fee expect in but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. But only by God's grace and mercy on the 13th June 2021, listening to Pastor Rob's sermon, the Lord opened my heart and convicted me of how much of a sinner I really was. God revealed to me his holiness that as a sinner, I had no hope, not even through my good works, nor by feelings. Titus chapter 3 verse 5 reads, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, through the washing of the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 reads, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. What I really needed to do was to repent of my sins, believe and put my faith in Jesus Christ and the wonderful works he had done for me. I broke down crying, coming to the truth of my guilt and and shame of being lost, depraved and in need of a saviour. That day I I asked for forgiveness and placed my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. 
John chapter 3 verse 16 reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I am now no longer a child of this world but a child of God. I thank the Lord for his grace and mercy upon my life for allowing me to see this day. I thank the Lord for his forgiveness for my unlawful sins and his unconditional love towards me. I thank the Lord for all his wonderful attributes and his work upon my life. I pray that the Lord will keep working in my life, sanctifying me daily and using me for his glory. I thank him for guiding me and bringing me towards him as I could never do it by my own strength and flesh in choosing God. I thank God for being my rock when I face temptation and trials. In obedience to God, I am now wanting to be baptized here in this church. Thank you all and God bless.